The reason you're unhappy, ladies and gentlemen, is because you are focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on the wrong thing. Now, let me explain this train of thought so that I can synthesize it in a way that you can process it clearly. I was recently in Dubai with about 150 entrepreneurs in my community. I did a little pop-up, a little free meetup. And as I sat there listening to their questions and digesting the information that they were sharing with me, the most common question that I received was, Luke, how do I make a million dollars? What are the tips and tricks and secrets in order to get to the next level in my career, in order to get to the next level in my business? Secrets, tips. What the fuck are you talking about, my brother? Tips, secrets to success. You're focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on the million dollars. No wonder you're unhappy. You're focused on that which you cannot control. No wonder you can't achieve anything. You're focused on the wrong thing. Now there's a verse in the Bible that says, do not be fooled. God cannot be mocked. As a man sows, so shall he also reap. Now, what does this mean? This means that for everything that you input, you will output in equal proportion. How foolish would it be for a farmer to look at the soil, stare at the soil 24 seven, curse at the soil, be upset and depressed, expecting fruit when he has planted nothing, when he has not carefully watered and supervised the growth of his labor. It is stupid, yet we do the exact same thing in our own lives. We expect a result without putting anything in. We expect an output that we cannot control, yet that which we can control, which is the input, we do not focus on. My friend, if you want to get to the next level in your career, let me tell you one thing. You must not be focused on the next level of your career. You must be focused on the input, that which you can control. So let me ask you, what can you control today? Well, you can control when you show up. You can control how much you work. You can control the quality of your labor. You can control the quality of your relationships. You can control what you input into your ears, what you input into your but nobody wants to focus on that because it's too laborious. It requires too much patience. My friend, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. So the reason you are unhappy is because you want something that you have not worked. You want something that you have not earned and that which you earn will come to you in due time and in due process. But you must be focused on putting in the hours, the energy, the attention, the dedication in order to receive that which you want. You look at the podium and you look at these champions receive trophies and medals and you assume that they just landed there. <laughs> you just assume that they just achieved greatness by chance. By luck. There is no such thing as luck, only probabilities. So as you increase your input, you increase your probabilities. So my friend, my question to you today is, what are you inputting into your life? Because where you are today is completely based on the input of your life, period. There is no, there is no debating on this thought. It's very simple. Isaac Newton said it. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that which you input, you will receive in equal proportion. It's very straightforward. It is a universal law and these universal laws are unflexible, they are unbendable. You cannot get past them. The process is the prize. The pursuit of becoming is the prize. Once you achieve that which you wanted to achieve, you will look back at the process and realize that who you became in that season was a lot better than what you achieved because we're so easy to desire what others have. We're so easy to daydream as to what we want and what we deserve. But when you can stop living in the future, which you cannot control, it's an elusive construct of reality a fabric of our imagination, and you sober up to reality and focus on the input of what can you do today right now in order to maximize your chances of a future that is beneficial to you. Then, my friend, then and only then will you become happy. Will you become a person that lives in a state of equanimity? So I ask you again, what are you in? In your mind, in your ears, through your eyes, through your relationships, through your work, through your dedication? Do not be fooled. God cannot be mocked. That which a man sows, so shall he also reap. Walk with power, walk with truth. That's my data set for you guys. Peace.